Hi, and welcome to this tutorial introducing you to Opposing Viewpoints. This database is a great resource for when you are searching for background information in your decision-making process. As you probably guessed by its name, Opposing Viewpoints provides arguments for and against many controversial issues, but you can also find academic journal articles, statistics, news stories, and more about your topic. So let's get started searching. From the English 101 Research Guide, scroll down until you see the box titled Researching Controversial Issues. I'll click the Opposing Viewpoints link. If I'm off campus, it may ask me to log in with my UNCG credentials. This is the same username and password as my UNCG email. Now that I'm at the homepage, I can see several current issues highlighted as well as general subjects that I can explore. If you're still in the early stages of developing your argument, you may want to browse these sections for inspiration or check out the Browse Issues tab at the top of the page. However, if you've already decided on a topic, you can use this search box in the top right. You can even limit your results to the type of source you need, such as academic journals. I haven't decided on a topic for my paper yet, so I'm going to browse the home page. I know that I have an interest in environmentalism, so I'm going to check out this section. I click View All to see more issues in this subject. I'm given a list of many topics to consider. The local food movement sounds interesting to me, so I'm going to click that link. Here is Opposing Viewpoints page on the local food movement. It seems to have a good mix of viewpoint articles, academic journals, newspapers, magazines, even some websites to check out. Scrolling back to the top, I see this excerpt about the efforts of the local food movement. By clicking here, I'm given a great introduction to this topic. It looks like it provides me with the historical context and a general overview of this issue. Let's go back. I see these featured viewpoints. These essays are often persuasive in nature and argue for or against our controversial issue. Reading these various viewpoints can help you better understand how to communicate a claim to your audience in a clear and convincing way. Let's take a quick look at one of these essays. Not only do I gain insight into this perspective, but if I scroll to the bottom, I can find a list of recommended resources that I might want to check out as well. Here are some further readings, such as books and periodicals discussing this movement. I also find a citation for this source. I'm going to go back to the main page on the local food movement. Now that I've decided that this is a topic I'd like to write about, I'm going to use this toolbar on the right. With this email button, I can send myself a link back to this page. It might save me some time later when I'm working on my paper. This is just an example of how opposing viewpoints can help you when analyzing controversial issues. I hope this helps you get started with your research. And don't forget, if you need any help, ask us. You can visit us in the library or use the chat box embedded in your English 101 guide.